everyone this is Melanie and I'm here with my new toy <laughs> that I got for Christmas and isn't it freaking adorable <laughs> so you're probably going what is that and why do I need this in my life and why should I waste my time watching this video okay you guys stop right there this is a vacuum okay so I will turn it on and show you what I'm talking about but I'm going to demonstrate it it has a super strong suction. It's pretty quiet considering, but it's just so doggone cute. So I got this for Christmas because I found it and I was like, oh my gosh, I had just spilled a ton of my diamond drills for my diamond paintings. And I was like, this would have been, you know, this would have come in handy if I'd have had that when I spilled that, those uh, diamond drills. So I put it on my Christmas list. So first let me explain how to put the batteries in because you guys I haven't cussed <laughs> and bitched <laughs> that much <laughs> in a long time well that's probably not true but either way frustration oh my god so what had happened was it came in this box okay and this box has all these little random instructions all around it but somebody had put the skew sticker over this little picture set right down here and I didn't see it and, and so I could have seen that and saved myself like a hundred hours of frustration this tells you how to put the batteries in but no what I did is I'm looking at it going okay where do the batteries go so I took the bottom off which is you know, this is how you dump what you pick up and then I turned this and took this off and then I took a screwdriver and unscrewed the inside then I couldn't get the switch to match up. The batteries wouldn't stay in. I was freaking livid. So after hours, literal hours of trying to find the battery compartment and get the thing put, that, put back together, I saw the instructions and I was like, I'm so pissed right now. So all you have to do, for those of you who do get one of these, you take the little cat's head, you turn it counterclockwise and pull it off. All right. So, <laughs> when I opened it from the bottom, I had this entire motor <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> and I'm glad that I'm not a complete dummy because I could figure out how to put it back together. But the switch wouldn't match up when I did it the other way. But you will notice that I had to tape with frog tape my batteries in here because they were so loose. If you turn the thing like this, they were falling out. So I taped my <laughs> batteries in there. Um, but that's all you have to do to put the batteries in and it takes two triple A batteries. Okay, so simple. Then when you put the little head back on, there's some little uh, openings right here and a little thing right there that you match up and then you twist it clockwise and it snaps back into place. Yeah, yeah, easy, huh? Well, leave it to Melanie to take an extra 400 hours to do something that simple. All right, now I'm gonna put his little base back on. It's a her, I keep calling him a him, but he's, you know, he's just so cute. I don't know if he deserves to be a boy or not. <laughs> All right, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna spill some diamond drills and I want to show you how this little thing picks them up. This could also be used on an office desk, okay? This doesn't have to be used for hobbies. It can be used for diamond painting. It can be used for scratch art dust. It can be used to pick up um, eraser dust, you know, on your kid's study desk at home, whatever. It's just cute, but it's also very handy. So, especially when you spill some diamond drills. I put this white piece of paper here so I could show you with a little better visibility than on my cutting mat. So I'm going to spill some diamond painting drills, okay? <laughs> now, one thing I do want to tell you is that if I were you, and I don't have any, or I would do it for you, I would take a fabric sheet and rub it on the inside of this to prevent static, okay? I don't have one. I went to get one to show you guys what I mean, and I'm out of fabric sheets. But this gets staticky, with these drills, because you'll notice they'll stick some, you know, 
after I pick them up. Okay, so all you're gonna do is turn it on, switch on the back, and run over. Hello. That's it. That is it, you guys. Then I'm going to open the bottom and all my drills are in the bottom. I do have a little funnel that I use for my diamond drills. Since I couldn't remember where I got it, I didn't want to demonstrate with that and not be able to tell you where I got it from. But a lot of people who diamond paint do have little funnels that they can use to pour back in there. But there you go. I cleaned up my mess that quickly. So yeah, you know, this may not be something everybody has to have, but y'all, Seriously, I mean, I don't know. I feel like this was a need for me. And, and I gotta tell you the funny story about why, the honest story about why this was important for me to have. You know how I get personal with some of these videos. Oh well, welcome to my life. So every time I diamond paint for weeks, I will wake up in the morning and I will have a diamond drill stuck somewhere on my body. 99% of the time, they're on my thighs or my butt. I haven't figured out why I sleep with clothes on. I don't know how they get there, but I have laughed with my husband and said, I think my son is playing a prank on me and is throwing these diamond drills in my bed <laughs> before I go to sleep. He, he's in there, his ghostly attempts to annoy me <laughs> are by throwing diamond drills into my bed. But I will wake up and literally, I haven't figured out how, I've had a diamond drill stuck on my ass like 40 different times. <laughs> so I figured that while I'm diamond painting, if I see any little stray drills, I can just vacuum them up with this and prevent diamond drills stuck on my body. So for those of you who diamond paint, you may know what I'm talking about and you're like, how did that get there? <laughs> this is weird, but that was one of the reasons I really wanted to get this. Not just because I spill them all the time, but because I was like, if I clean up after I work, maybe I'll wake up and I won't have anything stuck on me. So that is it. Story time with Melanie. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know who here has seen Moana, <laughs> but mine and my husband's favorite song in that whole movie is, is when uh, The Rock is singing, You're welcome. So yeah. Anywho, that's it for today. I'm sorry, go get it. It is super cute. There's other colors. I'm gonna link you to it if you want it. I found it on Amazon. I know some of the diamond painting companies have them, um, I, you know, maybe even AliExpress, but I've had some bad luck with AliExpress lately, so I am not gonna shop there if I can help it. But you can find this through my link below if you would like to. All right, guys, thanks as always for joining me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that little button that's in that corner when you expand your screen. Um, make sure you click it and you will subscribe and then you won't miss future stuff because I'm gonna have lots of it for 2021. I will see you back soon. Thanks as always for watching.